Welcome to the That's Life podcast. Oh, look, John, our guest for today just walked on. He's already <laughs> here. Um, anyway, yeah, I decided, or we decided, I should say, that it would be funny to just stream the episode. And then we'll put it all on, like, uh, we'll put it on Spotify and YouTube later for everyone to watch. But, yeah, we are, we're doing That's Life. Um, gosh, it's been a while. What's the update, Greg? Why don't you give us an update on your, on yourself? Well, I might have the Rona. Uh, <laughs> you might have the Rona. Yeah, I'm uh, currently not working. Uh, I'm home for 14 days, self quarantining, because uh, one of my coworkers came to work with the Rona, and so uh, I stuck that swab up my nose wait, yesterday. Wait, wait. When you said she has the she has the Rona, did she fully know that she had the Rona coming in, or did she like find out? So later? apparently, so she was sick got tested, didn't wait for the test results, and then came to work anyway, got the test results the next day after I worked with her, and she had the Rona. So (laughs) we've, uh, I believe we've completely closed our store right now. Everybody's at home for 14 days. Um, Yeah, so playing a lot of video games. I got the new Need for Speed Heat, which is a a fantastic game. I love it. Is it the kind Um, of game that makes you want to get like the steering wheel though? I don't know. I'm a fan of the controller. Um, I've been playing the old one. So, um, I, I mean, the new one's actually really, really good. The graphics are really nice. Uh, you can join people's crews and stuff. So, uh, I don't Wait, know. It's fun. Need for Speed Heat. That didn't get good yeah. reviews, did it? Uh, I think it did. I think really? IGN gave it an 8 out of 10. Oh, I thought it got bad reviews for some reason. Yeah, no, I like it. It's a lot like the older one. But, um, I have an Xbox and a PlayStation, so I don't have any racing games on PlayStation, but I do have... Uh, you got to get at least one racing Forza. game. Forza, that's what it is. I have Forza oh, on Forza Xbox. Oh, Forza isn't bad. Oh, you have Forza, then you don't need anything else. I know, right? Yeah. But it's the kind of game that makes you want to be like, should I just get a little fucking steering it's also, wheel? It's right? also the only game that you would justify getting an Xbox for. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gears, Gears of that's War. That's exclusive. That is true. But it's so yeah. old. Yeah, you know, Gears but, is old. The but, first ones were better. Yeah, yeah, the first ones were better, of course. Yeah. But I beat the last two. Uh, I, I beat the one that came out. Hang on. I forget what it was. I think Gears 4 came out a while ago, like a while ago, a while ago. Yeah. And I beat it right before 5 came out. <clears throat> and I, I was stoked s- still about both of them. Fourth one was better, but they just don't touch, like, you know, they don't touch Classic. the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like when Dom dies, didn't you well, cry? Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. I almost spoiler. cried. I cheered up a little bit. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Eight, eight years later, at least. It's 2020, so more than <laughs> more like 12 more years later. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Anyway, yeah, you're right. And then the new... Oh, let's talk about the Halo Infinite. Before we get into the rest of the episode, Halo Infinite. Let's start Let's start from clockwise. I'll go first. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's start. Greg, what... What, how do you feel about the Halo Infinite gameplay and trailer? And I mean, I'm guess. excited for a new Halo game. That's for sure. True. Uh, however, um, they could have made it a hell of a lot more realistic looking. Yeah, that was my it thing, too. Like, like It came out like <laughs> when the last one did. Yeah, yeah. Um, what happened that's what there? they found it. Like, they found it wedged between, like, some <laughs> shelf. They're like, oh, my God, we forgot to release this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, like, a second project that they were working They're on. like, oh, my God, you guys, I figured it out. It's I found it. The file is right here. It's labeled under 1997 tax returns. <laughs> it was lost in the archives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited. Like, I'm going to play it, obviously, because, right. like, I haven't played Halo in so long, but, like... I mean, I think it depends on how much they're going to charge for it. I feel like they'll know that we want it. So they'll be like, oh, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks. And it's like, yeah. Eh. Oh, uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? By the time, I don't know if you heard this, by the time that these new games come out or like with the, with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X or whatever, games are going to be 70 bucks. Yeah. That's Can't the wait. base price, 70 bucks, which means that like special edition shit will be like 120. Good thing it's we're ridiculous. all big boys with big, big, big money. Yeah, big, <laughs> big money spenders here. So much money. <laughs> um, okay. Any digits. So, so let's now that. Oh wait, John, I want to know what your your opinion is. Do you have an opinion? Are you stoked for it? Are you not stoked it on? I mean, it? yeah, that, that's thinking? the same same thing what Greg said, right? The idea that like they keep, there's twelve what years, ten years? No, more than that. What? Yeah. And it's like, and it's literally 
the same exact graphic engine like they, they kind of i feel like they're just pandering us because they know we want to play something halo but they're like not going to improve on it yeah mm. and and which you observe too like the idea of a storyline like let's go get them guys yeah oh okay God. big boy oh like God. i know <laughs> dude i was that we texted about that earlier it's so lame yeah. that like okay first off that whole conversation they had was super lame yeah it was uh, two minutes long yeah he was like, no, you're gonna, we're gonna do it, we're gonna get out of here. And Master Chief's gonna like, go I'm gonna go do this fucking thing. <laughs> and when I come back, we'll do your little thing, okay? And I'm very guy's busy, like, man. Mm, okay, fine. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so dumb. And then, um, the, that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was that final monologue by the brute or whoever that was. Mm. He's like, so, bear your fangs. And get ready, because we're going to do a big duel. And you're like, what fucking villain ever says that? You know what I mean? Because this is my vill- final battle. He even says it. This is my final battle. And you're like, it's dude. A, it's a villain from the 2000s. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, it is. They really it's did shelf that guy for days. They, forgot. <laughs> they just forgot. And they didn't like really finish watching like all those games. They're like, I just like, release it and it'll be fine. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Okay, I will say... Uh, don't really need qu- quick thoughts about it. We don't really need a grappling hook, but apparently we have it now. Um, I don't know why the assault rifle has gone through so many changes. That one is funny because it always looks different in every single game. Um, there were some cool addition. There were some cool additions. I like the instead of the bubble shield, it's just like the straight, the mm-hmm. wide shield. I thought that thing <clears throat> would be useful and, and rad. Um, I like the. F- mechanics it doesn't seem like it's as clunky as some of the older ones because i have the master chief collection on this pc and i was playing it the last few days just in preparation for for the announcement and i was like damn this shit is clunky like Mm. real clunky um but i mean i'm still stoked i'm like it's gonna be cool hopefully hopefully i mean i have guardian i have a halo 5 guardians and that game was I don't know what everyone else is smoking when they rated it between an eight and a nine on like IGN yeah, and stuff. That yeah, game, I never even played that. The game, yeah, me neither. dude, <clears throat> it sucks. It sucks. It's so bad. I really did not enjoy it at all. Okay, so so now that we got that off our chest, this is the episode we're doing it with John Lee. Um, John is going to talk about what he does. Uh, he lives in New York City and went. Greg and I are two California dudes. Although Greg lives in Arizona now. Surf's up, dude. <laughs> We're two- in, in Arizona. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, you know what? You don't know a weird fact about Scottsdale, though, is that I'm pretty sure that uh, Scottsdale has the highest number of boats per capita than any other U.S. city. That's terrifying. in the middle of the in the middle of the desert. We do have Lake Havasu, but apparently that's a thing. So, oh. wow. Quick facts. <laughs> Quick maps. <laughs> um that's crazy that's what a weird here. stat to know right <laughs> um so y'all but, have you know sir yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so anyway we're gonna talk about what john does because you know that's life and uh i think john has a really interesting uh, perspective considering we're two california boys and he's like a new york dude through and through getting that fucking new york pizza Get the freaking! I want to. I have to have, have that discussion with you in a little bit. But first off, I'm gonna drag this guy across the screen so you can see it. We're gonna watch a quick clip from this week today. I'm gonna play this. Clip. Oh, you know I had to do it to him. His Twitter. Kanye West weird. not only announced a hilarious half-baked plan to run for president recently, but also indicated in a post on Twitter that he was resuming an affordable housing project he started last year. About a year ago, a Forbes profile revealed that West was working on designing prefabricated low-income housing with a Star Wars aesthetic, shopping the idea to investors as a potential housing solution for the homeless. My idea, Kanye, if you're willing to listen to this billion dollar idea, if you're really going for that Star Wars aesthetic, there better be a cantina ban and they better be serving up that blue milk. Kanye West, not only running for president apparently, in doing since since this episode aired of the, that this week today, he did his rally in one of the Carolinas and said Man. some pretty controversial things as he tends to do. 
Um, and he and he's still going too. He's still going. <laughs> he's just got a, a ongoing thread on Twitter. Oh, Jesus Christ! And <laughs> and he's doing. He's trying to figure out housing for the homeless. That looks mm. like uh, that looks like the houses in uh, what's the name of that? in what's the name of that planet in Star uh, Wars. Is it Tatooine? Uh, yeah, Tatooine. Tatooine. Yeah, yeah. Tatooine. Duh, yeah, on Tatooine. <clears throat> And if we're yeah. wrong, you're about to lose like three followers. I know. I couldn't believe it. Look at the shirt you're wearing. I, I know. That's that what's wearing. hilarious. I completely forgot the name of that fucking place. And I love Star Wars. What is wrong with me? Anyway, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say other than like, dude is probably bored or have. According to the people around him, he's having some sort of a manic episode. So, I yeah. feel bad making fun of him, but I'm also like. Is anyone going to do it? If he's really having a manic episode, are you really going to just let him hold a rally? You know what I mean? What's the What's the bet on him and uh, Kim staying together? It's a good question. That He said, that he, apparently he tweeted that he wanted to get a divorce. Well, I know. Apparently he thinks that she and Meek had like a affair. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. <clears throat> he, they're both college, they're no, they're both like college educated now. <laughs> He's probably like, he's so smart. Honestly, yeah. he's like so smart. And he's like, yeah. You know? And they're fighting they're fighting for the same cause and prison reform and everything. Yeah, like, exactly. Like they're there yeah. are things aligned, you know? Yeah, they're fooling around. Yeah. For sure. For <laughs> sure. Which means that Kanye West now has to do something with Drake. Uh like well a, apparently like they're dissing they're, uh, or what did it was like Kanye dissed Drake or something on uh <sighs> On one of Push's songs or something like that. I don't know, man. Shit's getting crazy. Shit's weird. Shit's people are bored. But anyway, yeah. So <laughs> we're all bored. Yeah, we are all on board. That's why we're doing a stream at four PM. <laughs> <laughs> I mean seven PM. Seven PM for you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's get on to that. John, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. What what do you do? Where do you live? Tell us about new I don't even know how to say New York with a I think New York it's, accent. It's pronounced New, New, New York. York. New York. <laughs> New York. It's funny if you uh, if we had the stream maybe around like midnight when I'm drunk, my Staten Island accent would come out. And, <laughs> and you guys would got, you guys would love that. I've my only I've only heard that one time, and that was when you came and visited. Like, and we were probably drunk. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, had, you had just landed, and I was like, yes. just bring your bags to the bar i'm at right now i like had like i think i got like free jameson shot on the plane oh yeah and, that's yeah, right yeah. <laughs> that was a little trick and i got like, the guy just kept feeding me drinks and i gave it to the guy next oh, to me and then man. i showed up to you guys like hey guys uh i'm drunk i'm right like now. i'm already drunk, and I was <laughs> like, i'll perfect. meet you at the bar yeah <laughs> oh dude those are good times uh, i miss not but, um, corona times anyway sorry go ahead yeah uh now i mean Hi guys, my name is Jonathan Lee. Hi Jonathan Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, born and raised in New York, specifically Staten Island. Hey. Uh, so it's funny, it's the suburbs and everyone tends to hate us, but only people in Staten Island can hate Staten Island. So <laughs> shout out to all my haters. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you do, John? I work at a, at a bank in New York City as much as I want to say like 60% of the city probably does. Um, right. Pretty big bank. <laughs> You guys probably know it. Uh, and I work in compliance, anti-money laundering. So, like, Dude, essentially, that. like, I, w I wouldn't say it's, like, finding bad guys and, like, chasing, like, you know, like, money launderers and stuff like that. But, it's but, it, is. Like, <laughs> but it is. But it is. I'm a special, special agent. <laughs> he, what what he, I call myself. What he does, what he actually does is he likes to clean the laundry, like, the, the money. <laughs> Yeah, money when it comes in, I just put it in the machine. I click, you know, I put a quarter in, and then the <laughs> dirty quarter. So it's iron ironic. Yeah, you know? I have a dumb question, and this is this is I'm not asking because we're on a podcast. I'm genuinely curious. What is your definition of money laundering? I don't know if I can say too much because then. I don't know if someone's listening and wants the money launder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like, hold on a second. Yeah, <laughs> there's a loophole. <laughs> like, hmm. like, all you guys need to do is. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, the, what, general, what happens keep it general, is, keep it general. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is like you, you tend to find the smaller banks who don't have those controls in place, and then those controls basically range from like monitoring how you're spending your money, right? Like you could do whatever you want, but they still have rules. So like, right. you know, certain things would be like if they see that you're you're from America, but you're getting like funds from the Middle East, then like then that money just like disappears out of your account. Like that's a very obvious, you know, something shady. Yeah, is something going happened, on, and, you know, yeah. and they'll they'll send it up to someone to investigate it. Um, if you are related to anyone who's political, right? If if your if your uncle is you know a certain cartel leader, like, <laughs> it's gonna like, you're gonna have a hard time banking with anyone in America. Oh my God, really? That's so weird. Ah, I take this call really quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's your friend live? We can talk to him real yeah, quick. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, Uncle Hefe, uh, I've got an <laughs> issue. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it, it's basically that like, it's the process of like taking in money and then and putting it into places that are legitimate to mask the idea of it right that's where the right. that's where the the name laundering comes from because the, what they would normally do is use laundromats right they have like some little you know small laundromat but then they're pulling in hundreds of thousands of dollars you know, like, a month and back then it'd be like no one would check it but now banks are checking that stuff and that's you know that's where the name laundering comes from so literally. your job is to then like when when that does come up they're like hey we got a case file for you yeah so like we have like a database and all these processes that like to find these things and send to our investigators i was an investigator one time in my life um now i'm more into projects i'm a project manager so we kind of like you know fine tune like the systems and making sure everyone does their job right in the most efficient way and like uh, the I guess the best way to describe it is um we always said our team is like shield to the avengers because <laughs> That's tight. Like, That's they tight. can't do anything about us. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, cool. Like, Captain America can, like, do things, but we can, like, fly him somewhere. You know, right. we'll give him, like, the tools to do it. Or, like, Iron Man needs help or something. So, it, like, we get to do whatever we want. And and that's been a good, big reason why I stayed for so long, too. Like, the idea of, like, kind of having, I guess, like, your hands dipped in so many pools and also swimming in it if you want to. Totally. <laughs> good awesome. one. <laughs> um, yeah. So, okay, so... First, well, do you miss being an investigator? Do you miss? Do you miss? The no, not at all. Really? Because I mean, with that, it's like there's a number to your to your work, right? Like, let's say you have to do like ten cases a, a day or something. Like, if you don't hit that, you're not a great investigator. Or if you do it and like it comes back as like there's like something wrong with it, or you made the wrong choices. Like, I mean, certain certain ones were redeeming. I remember like my first case I ever did was actual money laundering. Like, I will tell you right now. That's dope. Five percent of like your caseload is probably not related. It's usually like small, something smaller, maybe something is shady, but it's not straight up money laundering, right? Because I, I work for a big bank, so it's like a lot of controls. It's not like I work for totally you know, some, like a local. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna drop a name, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know this exact bank you guys should bank for if you want. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not like I work for these pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> But uh, no, my first one ended up being, I think it was uh, like human trafficking related. Like no it was like shit. a whole thing. And like that kind of gave me, like, I guess like that's what kind of gave me the ambition to continue working. And I caught the eyes of people who were like, okay, this guy, like he can handle like projects. Like he has like kind of like a, you know, an intuition or he like, has a good judgment about things. Cause like I called it out. I was like, this is a, cause they, you know, your first one, they'll give you, it's easy. They're like, oh, just give them some like easy little case to do. And I was doing it and I was just like, huh, the like local town <laughs> in Texas thousands of dollars in thousands of dollars out multiple people in this account they're all like weird names that aren't related to each other and i like escalated and then i was like why'd you escalate this i was like i don't know it's pretty shady <laughs> so they escalated it and it came back like positive for like human trafficking like they had to contact you know um border control and homeland security like it gets through like that like, oh wow not even not even just money laundering but human traffic yeah it was actually like human traffic like they Holy were money shit. laundering but when we so it's it's it. pretty easy for you to tell whether it's like a huge red flag or not right yeah because if exactly. you're doing like if you're doing like 10 cases a day like it's pretty easy for you to tell yeah no of course okay you'll you'll be go doing do the doing the mundane like the whole time and all of a sudden you're like you see something stick out you're just like uh that's that's not like cool <laughs> dude that's weird you're like <laughs> you're like charlie in it's always sunny in philadelphia <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like Pepe Silva, Pepe Silva. Who is this Pepe Silva? <laughs> 
Ju- <laughs> Julie's butt says, is this guy a cop? No, he's he, not a cop. No. He, he looks like it, though. He does look like You do look like it. You, you look, look like, like a cop right now. Well, you, know, you look like, you look like a hair. fucking character in Call of Duty. You look like oh, uh, uh, Ronan. Yeah, you look like yeah. Ronan, dude. I should have like, just wore that shirt today. <laughs> I know, you look, totally. <laughs> you look like if the kid from Up went to the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh maybe God. he did. He was a Boy Scout. It makes sense. Sure. Or, uh, not Boy there Scout, you go, man. man. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, it's, she said sounds like something a cop would say. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting nervous. Uh, no, he's not a cop. He works in like, uh, what's the title again? Uh, Anti-money laundering compliance. For a bank. I can't right. tell you. We can't I say do, what I do you. have family that are in law enforcement and friends. And Staten Island is like one of the fun fact about Staten Island. I think... Uh, we have the highest amount of NYPD and FDNY and like in general, like the city workers because a mayor, there. well, because a mayor like six, six mayors ago, Mayor Dinkins, I believe he like told all city workers, if you, if you want to work for New York city, you have to live in New York city. And you know, at that time, a lot of like cops and firefighters lived in like a little, a little up more North and Yonkers and Long Island and Jersey. So everyone moved to Staten Island because that's where the land is. Mm. Oh, interesting. Because they were used to like suburban life, and they're like, okay, well, we gotta live in the city, so we move to Staten Island. So totally. You know, all, yeah. When all the crazy stuff started happening in New York, everyone in Staten Island was like, bring it. Like my neighbor's a cop, my uncle's a cop, my brother's a retired <laughs> yeah. Marine, as a former Marine. Like it <laughs> was just like, <laughs> on the Staten Island. Like, yeah, that's holy wild. Holy shit! No way. Did you like ever I think said, about like, com- becoming a cop? Yeah, it's uh, it's been in my in my radar a lot. It's just like the idea of like you know, especially now. The oh my guy. god, I know, right? Because <laughs> thing is, the thing is for me is like if you're gonna complain about something and you want an act change, just do it. Yeah. And, oh, totally. You know, like, like that's that's honestly been my thing. The only thing that kind of stops me though is the pay. Yeah, that's yeah, fucked that's up. Dude. I am in New York, but you know, if you if you kind of get through it, and and you know, I know I know a lot of friends who do get through, it and you know, my dad is, is one. Like, you make top pay easily, and you just you know, keep your keep your head down, do some good stuff. And right. It's redeeming. You know, end of the day, these cops don't do it because they want money. Right. You know, it's, right. People will argue it's power, but there's also the redemption and like helping. Totally. You know? I dig that, man. I mean, yeah, especially for given the fucking current climate we're in, a lot of people are. And it, it, it is a bummer because I, I do know plenty of cops who are they're not like that, you know. Right. But yeah. then again, there are a lot who apparently oh, yeah. are. That's the weird right. fucking. So it's a bummer. It's, it, it's, just sums, it just gets summed up by people are garbage. I know. No matter, yeah. no matter what job you have, <laughs> no, matter, like, yeah, no matter what music you listen to or <laughs> how you vote, people are just garbage. People, like, yes. We are all so garbage. I, Exactly. That's why everyone should have a dog. <laughs> True. Feel better. Where is my dog? Oh man, he might be in the other room with my girlfriend. Um, okay, so do that. How, so how did you get into? How did you actually get into get that? Into my my career. So yeah. I studied criminal justice and sociology in college. At where? Uh, you don't. Have, oh, whoa. At where? They're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna dox me. Uh, University at Albany, SUNY Albany. Oh, so, uh, oh really? Mm, okay. <laughs> might be cop studied criminal justice <laughs> no that's not what i wrote that's not what i wrote <laughs> but um yeah. yeah so i studied criminal justice it was you know it was fun and like the idea was like to go to law school so but the, the the monday after graduation i actually started working for a lawyer as a paralegal so that was that was a fun little little thing and uh when I left, the firm was like, hey, like, you still want to go to law school, but, like, you should do it. But I think you should work at, like, an actual job first. He's a cop. <laughs> you a co-op? You a co-op? You a co-op? What? No? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, um, um, so, okay, sorry. I totally yeah, just, yeah. I just hijacked, hijacked, hijacked it. Um, so you went to Albany, criminal justice, started working for a lawyer. Yeah, and then they, and when I was, it was time to go. Like I wanted to leave. They were like, you know, you should before you like think about or starting to study for you know the LSATs and you know eventually go to law school. Why don't you like work first? Because like at that time too, like six, seven years ago, like New York City had like huge saturation of lawyers, and they're like, it's gonna be tough. Like unless you're like a star in wherever you go to law school, it's gonna be tough. And like, why don't you like start star. working? And I know my mom says. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And at that time, yeah, I'm just like, you know what, you're right. Like, you know, so I just started applying to different places and, you know, I, I got a call back from JP Morgan. 
name drop <laughs> and, like, all these other, and all these other banks like hsbc and just in general like because at that time you know hsbc they got fined 15 billion dollars for like lax anti-money laundering control so every single bank in new york city was hiring they were like that. fuck they were like yeah literally they're just <laughs> like oh my out. god like let's like invest like five million into a, a small department <laughs> instead of risking 15 billion for like not having controls right so i worked out in my favor and like you know i got like i went through like two interviews and they were like all right cool like set like they just need someone who like knows their stuff and work under pressure which if you work in a law firm that's literally all it is like detail oriented and uh being used to getting yelled at and uh yeah then the rest of that was uh, history and i'm still there and you and you're stoked about it you enjoy that that line of work yeah no yeah for sure like like i said like i get a lot of out of it just because i'm in a project role like the right, idea of totally, like yeah. i literally I, I work with like databases and trends i work with like i do presentations for senior management i do headcount stuff i do metric stuff i do just like literally like my hands dipped in everything so it's pretty it's it's a pretty rewarding i guess like job for now that's Hopefully right my man. boss isn't listening yeah, awesome. just, like your I'm boss is like kiss ass <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, the, I, I'm curious now, like, you got to there's got to be more stories, right? Oh, about work? Yeah, like, there's got to be some yeah, other crazy about, like, crazy, ca- like, catching people, like, well, doing like, weird stuff, or... Well, I remember, like, so a lot of, like, a lot of the stuff that comes into our, our feed, like, our cases, too, like, they come from the branches, so, uh-huh. like, FYI for people who go to a branch at all. They, they they monitor you like you know they see what you're doing they see how you're doing it and they'll actually write it down in your in your profile like your profile has like you know and not like not like normal stuff like you know chase is wearing a hat you know like chase wore a star wars shirt and didn't know who tattooed what tattoo. <laughs> It's like Chase is bring, bringing lobster to like lunch yeah, for work, be, work you know, weird. every so single like, day. No, I mean like for customers, like for clients when they come in, that's, like, oh, that's yeah, what they're yeah. monitoring. So like we, a lot of our cases also come from referrals. So like every so often, like when I was an investigator, we would like read this like profile. It's like, oh, you know, Chase Jarris, you know, we see his profile, how much money he has, what he does for work. And then like a comment. And those mm. comments are always gold. Like I remember one was like, <laughs> one was just like, not his baby. <laughs> and that was it there was no no attachment there was no nothing there it was just not his baby and i'm like hey do i do i, do I, this? Do I yeah what do you mean not his is this baby an issue like is this human trafficking again <laughs> oh, no? Jesus. Shit, man. yeah and then you got like the normal ones where it's like money smells like marijuana or like you know like, <laughs> Oh uh, really? They mark that kind of shit. Oh yeah, like everything, everything that like is suspicious to them, like, they because they're very much like the front line of banks. So like, if they deem something's weird, you know, they'll just be like, man talking to himself deposits five thousand dollars. So like, okay, that was a little. Weird, oh, but, I get you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that, you know, that does make sense. Money has blood on it. <laughs> is there? Is there like? Do you feel like you've ever gotten read any of those comments, and you're like, that was an effective comment that helped me get from point a to point b or are they all just sort of like no <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that like whenever someone gets like a referral like that they'll just be like hey everyone come over here look at this like oh look at this one yeah look at this one. look at this shit this is hilarious these people are weird yeah like, what branch is this and you're like oh it's a branch right next to me oh. <laughs> yeah exactly go to that branch i i will say that's we, me we have a <laughs> it says john lee what the fuck <laughs> yeah looks like a dweeb <laughs> looks like a cop looks yeah. like a cop looks yeah, like a cop. yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Um, yeah. I will say we have a, something similar in marketing. Um, what we often have to do, especially now that, especially now that we have quarantine, uh, it's hard to f- get like your own photos or video, like not generic B roll, but like just extra B roll and stuff to like help spruce up a video or photo or whatever or graphic. And we often have to go on like Adobe stock footage or, or some variation of that, Getty images. And every now and then we'll type in something like family buys home, just generic, you know. And we'll get these fucking results that are so weird. And so <laughs> like we have like a Slack, one of our Slack channels 
is just all the weird just fucking stock images. Yeah, <laughs> just the weirdest stock images that for some reason made it into like I typed in Santa because I needed uh, I was trying to help someone with a graphic <clears throat> typed in Santa the second photo is that photo of the meme of the dude shirtless with just a Santa hat on and he's rubbing <laughs> his nipples that was the second photo and I'm sitting there like laughing my ass off but this is at one point when I was I was sitting like in the, the marketing block at work was like open it had like this long like desk area and it was like three on each side and there were people behind me and like people walking by and i was like going through this and sure enough like the first i mean the second photo in was him but like the next 10 photos were all different variations of him like rubbing his nipples and like touching his, <laughs> touching his tongue and, and i was like scrolling through that laughing my ass off and i added it to the group and i was scrolling through and fucking my manager was standing behind me and she was like what the fuck is this <laughs> and i was like yo if you've not seen this are you not a part of this group chat you need to see them <laughs> she was like this is card ideas yeah yeah she was like this is so weird she was like, can you send me that can yeah. you send me that link? yeah just that photo private slack like, just, just private yeah exactly can you text it to me actually <laughs> I don't want it to be work related. Um, yeah, dude. So I feel you. We we do have we had a similar, but not so much these days because we're uh, we don't even text each other. But we do have to use a lot more. So I'm seeing it a lot more. I'm just not seeing yeah. it. I'm like that's literally. All, it'll be like family drives up in a in a car. I'm looking for someone just driving up to a house in a car. So it looks like they're gonna check it out. And it's just like a fucking high speed chase and people like shooting out the window. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, GTA like screenshots. Yeah, it's like there's nothing. <laughs> these two things are not the same. What I searched for is not this. So fucking random. All right, give us another one, John. What, what else you got? You had any other crazy ass stories uh, of, uh, has, have you ever escalated something and it was to- like you thought for sure you're like, this is a thing. And no, because just... everything I escalate is usually right. So. Oh, uh, <laughs> sounds no, like something I, a cop would say. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, I, w- I would say like I wasn't an investigator for that long because then like, I got pulled into like a project to like test right. me and then like they yeah. did all that. So it wasn't like I'm sure the investigators now like um, they definitely have a lot more stories. Um, just trying to think of any stories other people had. I know we've like we've seen. Oh, um, like, am I allowed to drop names? I know I'm allowed yeah, to drop sure. names. Why not? I'll, I'll just give like that? I'll just give like you know vague vague thing you know his, he has rainbow hair you know he's, he's oh, a okay. rapper um, <laughs> <laughs> and like we like one of our people the king had of New him. York yeah one of, yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyone know that reference uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. um, but we had him you know like it just popped up and not to say it was like a, a case or anything but like he just like came up through an association and I was like no way that's him and like all six of us were looking at his profile like, oh my god oh, like shit. yeah why do i work here why do i do the things i do <laughs> was it was it shady are you allowed to say probably incredibly i don't shady. know i don't know if i'm allowed to say i think it's still pending right i guess that's true huh? okay <laughs> fair enough. a cop would say <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. the investigation still under oh, it's still underway so <laughs> still i'm not at liberty to i cannot yeah, confirm to nor discuss. deny to, to discuss the, any further. Oh my god, i cannot <laughs> confirm or deny <laughs> <laughs> god damn it all right yeah. well look you're a new you're a new york guy you know Eat a Capicola. I don't know what they say over there. I'm walking. Am I in like old school Italy? I know, man. I'm fucking. I'm in little Italy, like my whole time in New York. Honestly, I shouldn't have said that because now I'm hungry for some fucking deli meats. Yeah. Once you said that, I just thought about all these Italian meats. (laughs) (laughs) Gonna have to go down a fucking bodega. Big Italian (laughs) meats. Um. So Mm. we want to play a game with you, John. And this is something Greg and I talked about beforehand. You don't exactly know it, but we're gonna play a game with you. How well do you know New York? Greg okay. is going to ask how many questions. Greg, why, why don't you explain it while I get some fucking deli meat sandwiches? <laughs> Chase is really about to eat some meat on camera. Um, ooh, we, I got Wait, five questions. That goes to his other, other website, doesn't it? Only well, fans. Yeah. <laughs> join, everybody uh, on the stream, join Chase's <laughs> OnlyFans. Uh, it's very cheap. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Only three cents will get you everything. They'll, they'll pay you to click on it. Right, I'll yeah. eat this off of anyone or anything. Use the code that's life and we'll give you ten dollars. Oh. <laughs> like, Can I do that? And, and, and a package of Capicola. <laughs> um, free deli meat. It's amazing. 
But anyways, I have some uh, questions about New York history. So Ooh. for those history buffs out there who might be good at uh, New York history, this is the New York quiz. The New York. Uh, so I've got five questions. We'll see if Chase can beat John in this because uh, I think John might know the answers to most of these. But question one, the Statue of Liberty arrived in New York in 1885. But in how many pieces did it arrive in? Oh. Was it A, 101 pieces, B, 268 pieces, or C, 350 pieces? So it's either the 100 range, 200 range, 300 range. All right. Uh, do I have to go first, or does the New York guy go first? Uh, let's let's say Chase goes first. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we'll sw- we'll switch off every every question. I'm gonna go ahead and say, gr- <laughs> hey, chat. By the way, what do you think? 101, 268, or three what? Uh, or 350. Or 350. How many pieces did it come in? Um, the Statue of Liberty. Um. I'm going to say it is a big statue. But how big were the pieces? Sherizzle said that's 350. Sure. I wanted to say that too, but I don't know if that's what. I'm going to go with 350. I like. You like 350? Yeah, she said Homegirl is big. Yeah, I'm going to say 350. Homegirl's big? Is that. Is she talking about the statue? Yeah. <laughs> Or is she talking about Julie's butt? She's talking about Julie's <laughs> butt. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. All right, John, what's what's your answer, bud? I want to say 352 just because it is. Sheree's laughing really in the other room. <laughs> you guys you guys you got you guys can have the same same answer here. I know, yeah. that's the reason why I'm thinking I don't want to say that, because he said it, so that makes me think that I'm wrong. You can have it. You can do whatever you want, buddy. 350. One definitely not one. No, definitely not one. It's way too little. I know. Unless it came over in, like, like, big fucking pieces. Yeah. You know what I mean? It it could have. Which is what I'm so wondering. Specific. Did it come over in these big fucking pieces? Did they send a ship for every part? <laughs> Imagine. See, that would be crazy, dude. Because then that 300 would sound ridiculous then. <laughs> right? But 300... Pieces would more pieces would fit on a ship. Yeah, honestly, I'm just trying to confuse you guys. But what's your answer, John? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 350. That was my first like that was my first like straight out guess. Uh, yeah, 350. You guys are correct. Yes. Good job. Yes. So yeah, 350 pieces uh, arrived in 1885. Bonus question. Okay. Uh, how many statues of Liberty are there in the world? There's like. Then multiple choice? No, no. I think there's like five. John? I want to say three. Point to John. Oh. <laughs> there's three. There's two more in France. Uh, the original yeah. creator made them uh, proportionally, um, and they're different sizes as well. Uh, Frenchie let me know that last night. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, shout out to French. Thank you, Frenchie. Um, <clears throat> anyways, question two. Uh, where did the Bronx get its name from? All right. A, a plumber named Robert Bronx who designed and oversaw the building of the subway system in New York in 1904. After the grand opening in October 27th of 1904, people voted to name this area after him and called it the Bronx. Or was it B, a man named Jonas Bronk who moved to New York from Sweden in 1639 and was the first European to settle in the Bronx. He had a 500 acre farm and was referred and it was referred to as Bronx land and later people referred to it as the Bronx or was it C uh, Bronx was the name of the ship that brought the first immigrants from Europe to New York. Do I have to go first again? Uh, John can go first. He's ahead. So first one, what was the name? It was a plumber. So the first one is the pr- the plumber named Robert Bronx. Robert uh, Bronx. He designed and, and oversaw designed the, the building of the subway system. Right. Uh, Jonas Bronx, who, was- who moved to New York from Sweden in 1639, mm-hmm. the first European to settle in the Bronx and had a big ass farm. Chat, okay. what do you think? Or it was the name of the ship. Sure, he said, Definitely stop eating one. meat for the love of God. <laughs> 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 Definitely not one. 
You're going to have the meat sweats later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. I don't think I have any more uh, Italian meats. Better than wing butt. I'm way better than wing butt. I'm going to say B. B, the sounds, man the man from Sweden? Because that one sounds more like New York. Like, like there was like just some farm guy who lived there. And that's kind of what San Andres is, too. And all of a sudden, someone's like, let's just name it after the guy because he like lived here. Okay. I'm going to go with A. Go with A, the plumber? Plumber, plumber. who made the subway. Dude, that's, so that's your final <laughs> answer. The only reason why I don't think that is because I feel like I would have known that. <laughs> like, he made the train. Like, that's your final answer. You can't change it. Though. I know. That's my final answer. A. The answer is B. John was correct. Yes. Fuck. He's fucking crushing it. So, oh, yeah, Julie's it was a guy. Farm. Yep. Julie's it was a, point to you as well. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, it was a guy from Sweden. Uh, he had a 500 acre farm, and then the the land they called it Bronx Land, and then they, he had a river that like ran through it. They called it Bronx River, and so they called it the Bronx after yeah. a while. Yeah, we're not a very creative group of people. In the <laughs> Just kind of go with the flow. Like, do you know the, you know the famous Canal Street in Chinatown? You know why it's called Canal Street? Because it runs next to a canal. There used to be a canal literally, right there. <laughs> and they covered it, and they're like Canal Street. <laughs> ah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, we got 1st Avenue, we got 4th Avenue, we got 21st Avenue. What do you want? We got all the numbers. <laughs> exactly. All right, so John is crushing it. Come on, Chase. You're, you got to do us proud, man. I know. Yeah, I'm, on. Trying, um, I'm trying. Come on, Santiago. All right, so on to the third question. With 34 lines and 469 stops, how long would it take you to ride the entire subway system of New York? Would it take you A, one day, two hours and 32 minutes would be B 21 hours and 49 minutes or C 24 hours, almost exactly. Damn. Those are really tight numbers. They're pretty close. It's either a little bit under a whole day, yeah. almost exactly a French whole day what's up? or over a day, like two hours. Oh, Chase, you're, you're first. Oh, Chase is first. Sucker. What was the first one again? I think that the was first one was uh, a day, two hours and thirty-two minutes. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's <clears> the first the, one. Mm-hmm. I go with A. Okay. Hey, what do you think, chat? Give it. Give me your answer. A, B, or C. So again, A is one day, two hours and thirty-two minutes. B is twenty-one hours and forty-nine minutes. Or C is twenty-four hours, almost exactly. And John's looking it up on the internet. Sure. I'm looking, at the, I'm looking at the chat. Sure, he's saying 21 hours. Come on, French. Julie's butt. B. Uh, uh, French, she said B, which is also 21 hours, right? Let me just say that Frenchie also took this test last night. <laughs> <laughs> but I made it up. Well, then, B. <laughs> He I could be him. lying. Who's laughing? You hear him downstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Frenchie. <laughs> I heard him laughing. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, 24 hours. I want to say like they had an like, exact science and they're just like. What, 24 hours? On, uh, almost, yeah, I, I wanted to say choose that too. Because, I wanted to choose that Just because that it seems like they would do that in New York. Like, let's just make it exactly 24. Yeah, yeah let's just like 24. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> they're all about being efficient. Well, uh, let's just say Frenchie was right. It's 21 hours. Wow. 21 hours and wow. 49 minutes. Really short. Um, so, yeah, shorter than you think. Um, John, do you have any weird things that you've seen in the subway? Oh, or any anything that you can tell people who have never ridden the subway before? Oh, God. Just imagine just a lot of people crammed up in, like, the smallest, hottest, stickiest, smelliest, <laughs> like and then sometimes like the train the lights are off and then they just flicker and it's you don't know dingy. it's almost like, next to you and then the, the pigeons ride with you yeah they do you No know, rats are kind of just i'm sure everyone follows subway creatures and like people oh it's think a that, good one i think that's an exaggeration it's it's not an exaggeration yeah. i remember like, the yeah i <clears throat> i did a I, I did a what was it a photo shoot there for like bass footwear when i was 23 or 24 something like that and i remember flying in and my brother Colin picked me up from there, or I flew with my brother Colin, and I was like, dude, wow, like, I'm finally here, like, I can check New York City off my box, and he was like, dude, <laughs> New York City is the only place in the world that it is exactly the same way it is in the movies as it is in real life. <laughs> no, it really, it really is. It like, is. if it's too clean in the movies, it's because they cleaned it for the movie. Yeah, and, that, and he goes, yeah. that is bullshit, because it is, it, it is exactly how you think. 
Yeah, fucking... It's like transporting to Gotham City. It's like you're, yeah, <laughs> like literally. you're in a Batman movie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that dark, it's that dingy. Yeah. And... Oh, dude, yeah. The subway was a, an experience to like, be. That pizza rat is not the only pizza rat I've ever seen. What's the biggest rat you've ever seen? Oh, here? my God. The size of my forearm. <laughs> Ew. Oh, God. It's a big ass rat. Hey, you got big ass forearms. Yeah. Did you? Did I ever. us too. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story that, uh, from the Beastie Boys book about how to get the rats out? No, no, I don't think so. Dude, they would bait the rats. Someone was like, get like a pelican, just fucking shoot them. Like, I don't care if there's a rat problem. This is when they were like broke as shit before any of their music came out. And uh, what they did was they would they put trash in the hallway, like just a big old bag of fucking trash. And they, like, shot them. Like, they came home after a party one time and, like, just... They put all the airsoft guns, like, in their mailbox. So they took the airsoft guns or whatever, pellet guns, and they ran into the house, into their apartment, <laughs> and they all scurried, and they shot, like, five of them, and then just left them dead there for, like, a day. Jesus. And they never had rat problems again. <laughs> that makes sense. The rats were like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Everyone run! Yeah. Yeah. The great rat like, massacre. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they got Tony. Jesus and they Christ. Got, they got <laughs> Greg. They got John. They got Jake. <laughs> they fucking massacred him. And then, <laughs> and then they just left their dead bodies all over the floor. It was disgusting. <laughs> Oh man! But yeah, no, they're they're very real. They actually are saying now because of COVID and a lot, there's like a lot less garbage out because people aren't eating in the restaurants and no one's really dumping garbage outside. The rats are becoming cannibalistic, and yeah. nice. the strongest ones are surviving. Oh, and not the strongest nice. ones are terrifying. Yeah, the uh, strongest so ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> You know, like when Rick so... and Morty pickle Rick, that like big one that he fights. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's like that's like all the rats now. <laughs> Oh my God. And like uh, the cockroaches too, like they're getting they're getting more and more of relentless, and they're surviving a lot more just because they yeah, have to. Uh, just, like, uh... Yeah, literally. Imagine like a, a cockroach rat fight just on the train. You're just dude. I like, think we just thought of a new Pixar. We just thought of a new Pixar. A Pixar movie. <laughs> I was like Michael Bay or something. No, no. Like uh, what's that movie? Ants. Remember Ants? Oh, the, the, yeah. The fucking battle scene. And he's like yeah. stabbing all the termites. <laughs> I always imagine those. Like when they're like zooming in on them, they're like. Aah! And it zooms out and there's like no noise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like an Ant Man, right? Don't they do that in Ant Man? Do they do that in Ant Man? Yeah, they're like fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and it's just yeah, they're <laughs> fighting on the train, and then like the train like explodes and like it falls <laughs> over everywhere, but it just goes. <laughs> oh man! All right, give us the next question. Well, uh, okay, question number four. Uh, what colors were the original taxi cabs in New York? Were they red and green? Were they B, yellow and black, or were they C, orange and purple? Orange and purple. Has to be. Chase is going for C? Yeah. What was the first one? It was A, red and green. Red and green. B, yellow and black, or orange and purple. So the yellow and black just throws me off because that's what they are now. Right. right. So it makes me wonder if, like, this is, this is a, a trick really question. Trick question and never yeah. But originally, when the when the first cabs were in New York. First cabs were here. The first cab, yes, yeah, the cabs are here. <laughs> Fun fact, Vinny uh, lives, or he grew up, like, five houses down from me. Really? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, he went to my Staten school. Island. Was he Staten cool? Island. Yeah, he's actually pretty cool. I didn't go to school with him. Wow, it's coming out. I didn't go to school with him. My <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I, I don't know, school, man. Yeah, I didn't go to school. I saw him at the gym a couple times. <laughs> then he got held back a couple of years. <laughs> oh, he's actually the smart one. He was, uh, yeah, if he didn't get into Jersey yeah, Shore, he, he was going to go to law school, which is like intense. Like, I mean, oh, I guess yeah. I was too. I'm not that smart. He's the. You guys could have been a. You guys could have had a lawyer for a Yeah, time. right? Hey, Sheree. Lee, Lee and Gladanino. What was his name again? The vegan. The freaking vegan. I forget what his name was. I don't know. Sh- Sheree will know. She'll type it in the chat. Yeah, let us know, Sheree. What was Vinny's name? Was the, the guest starring the, Sheree. He was the... All right, so Chase says... Uh, the Keto Guido. That's what it uh, was. The Keto Guido, that's right. Yeah. Guido. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, your final answers are was, orange hey. and purple, Chase, yeah. and then red and green, John? Past it, I think. Yep. Yes. Hey. Yep. Bro, John is taking the cake on this one, man. It's red and green. They were red and green. They later adopted yellow and black um, because everywhere else they used yellow and black, but they originally started as red and green. So... 
Yeah, purple just doesn't vibe with me in New York City. It looks weird. I don't think I've bro, ever purple seen... and orange, bro. That's fucking ugly. It's right? ugly, but I just thought it was so <laughs> ugly that like it That's had true. to answer. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, they had it's it like... for like some guy designed it for one month and like, no. Like, it... <laughs> oh, it's bad. Honestly, <laughs> when I was making these up, I'm like, what's a New York color like scheme? That you should have done like blue and orange. Yeah, yeah blue. blue and orange. Yeah, I was blue gonna blue and orange. Is that what you just said? No, I would say blue and orange. Blue and orange. Orange. You guys should have me say words that are like New Yorkers. That'd be after this book. quiz. We will. After this quiz, we will. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and then when, right. we, when I'm actually streaming like the games, I'm gonna make you do the accent. <laughs> so I, during like a hot mic kill cam, you're like, "Oh fuck you!" Oh man, <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> get out of here! All right. So last and final question: What year did the first pizzeria open Ooh. in New York? All right. Answers A, 1845, B, 1906, or C, 1895? 1895. All right, John's locked in for C. 1906, is that one of them? It is. Do that one. Ding, 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 John's right again. He's, a, uh, he's our, Wait, our fellow New Yorker. It's because he's, I love pizza so much. I think I know it too. <laughs> I think I know the restaurant. Which one? Is it Patricia's? I believe so. I don't okay. know. I looked at it. I don't, I don't know. So I know. Like, let's let's look it up. But I believe so. First, I believe that. I believe that's correct. First pizzeria in New York. What is John? What is your f- Lombardi's? Lombardi's. Ah, uh, Lombardi's. Oh, when was Patricia's? I feel like that was. The 10 oldest pizza joints in New York City, <laughs> written by Business Insider. Yeah, Lombardi's became first. Wait, 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 wait. Lombardi's became America's first pizza parlor in 1905. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, nah. it says it right here. In, in where? New York City? In oh, not America's New first pizza parlor. parlor. America, bro. It says 1905. Greg, you, you... <laughs> You, you. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Not the longest continuously operating pizzeria. In 1984, Lombardi's closed for a decade, that reopening was- the management of Lombardi's grandson and his friends, John Brescio. So, technically, what? Well, it says 1905. Then why does it say 1980? Or. Hang on, I'm confused. <laughs> to, I'm gonna have to, bro. I'm gonna have to find this fucking place where I got this information from. Yeah, and send them a, they're all a, a strongly worded email. All these places <laughs> say like the longest or the the earliest ones were like in nineteen, the early nineteen hundreds, basically. Have you literally searched oldest? Well, eighteen ninety five is literally in five years before nineteen hundred, but. Uh, 1895 pizza. Well, I mean, John, John kicked your ass in this quiz anyway. I know, but I wanted to get. <laughs> I wanted to you get, to get a technicality. Right. You want the technicality? See, no technicality. this is so weird because now this one says the first pizzeria in the United States was opened by Girano Lombardi in 1895. There you go. Yeah, uh, first one opened in NYC in 1895. I don't know, dude. We both weren't wrong then. Cause the, I, I don't know, know, man. The internet is wrong. What a surprise. Well, don't believe everything you, you see on the internet, folks. I think it's because <laughs> it's a pizza parlor. I think that's probably why there's like... What's the difference? I don't know. I think a pizza parlor is like quick in, in and out type. Whereas oh, like you have like restaurants. It's like a freaking or like at, sit at down, and have a drink. Like who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, John, hot take. What's your favorite pizza place in all of New yeah. York? Ooh, oh, man. And what's, and what's your favorite pizza it toppings depends, to get? It depends yeah. on what type of pizza you want because I'll, I'll, I'll take the shame. I love Domino's, even though I will say it's not pizza. But, like, if I want, you know, Domino's is good, good pizza. And Bro, they got fire coupons. So though. glad that you oh, said yeah. that. I think that Domino's reigns supreme over all of these other fucking. Oh, quick best food. takeout pizza hand down. Hands down. Oh, easily, easily, dude. Easily. Hands down. And, and if you so many had people disagree pizza, with me. Oh, uh, thank you, dude. The pan pizza is fucking pan delicious. Pizza is amazing. <laughs> Greg it's and a medium I used, and like, in high it's school, still fine. In high school, Greg and I would drink like 80 beers. <laughs> and then. 
and then order like eight pizzas and half and of eat them, them all. And yeah, half of, them were, <laughs> half of them were always pan pizzas. Our yeah. guest next week, Max, is was a part of that. He'll attest to the fact that we always got a mushroom, a sausage and mushroom pizza from Thought Domino's, sausage. and sausage. it was so fucking good. Yeah, my girlfriend yeah. hates Domino's. Oh, right, man. Shree? Shame, and she also bro. likes the Red Sox, so. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that, oh. dude. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. She's a well. She's not really a Red Sox fan. That right. Funny, I remember man. you guys. Yeah, you had to like talk about you, dude. She came. Oh my god! When I when she found out <clears> that the A's were just doing s- summer games the past two days against that, she said false. Shree, you do. Li- are you false. saying you do like? I'm well, confused. You're false to false to what? False to what? Yeah. Are you saying that you are a fan of? I like Domino's with cheese and meatballs. Okay. Meatballs. Wait, is meatball a meatball topping? I meatballs? like meatballs. Yeah, you can get a meatball topping. Yeah. I Damn, I'm ordering meatball hug, pizza yeah. tonight. Dude, meatball pizza <laughs> would turn me into a meatball. Fuck. Yeah, that, is, that is true, Man. but I ain't got nothing to do. That's true. <laughs> um, That's true. Unless you don't talk to the delivery guy or touch him. So, so okay, so you're obviously true. a Yankees fan over, over Mets. <laughs> Who's your football team then? Can I just not say any of them? <laughs> I mean, we're Raiders fans. <laughs> yeah, That's true. Uh, I guess I'll just have to say Giants just because you know you have to stick with them even though you suck. And you'll be the underdogs. And <laughs> hey, we know how that feels. <laughs> how that feels. <laughs> exactly. Now, right after this story of my life. How it goes now, you know? <laughs> oh, she said it's sausage, but they look like little meatballs. Oh, yeah, it is sausage. Okay, yeah, sausage. I remember. Yeah. I don't remember meat. I like. I eat Domino's like twice a week. They I mean, do. Uh, <laughs> twice a month. So like, don't they have? Uh, they've got like the, the, slice. the sausage. Yeah, yeah, they've got the sausage yes, crumbles, sliced? and then they also right. have the sliced kind. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it is fire. It is oh fire. man, now I, now so I kind of want Domino's. Oh, we I had, think we're all I will. Right. I will say though, the pizza best pizza. Lunch. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, back yeah. to the yeah, I could, forgot. So if you want just like pizza parlor, like just straight like cheese slice and like something real quick. Um, oh my god, I'm blank. I haven't been out in the city and eating know, right? outside food in so long. I'm like blank on name. John, <laughs> Joe's. Joe's. Hold on, let me fact check. Joe's Pizza. Joe's Crab Shack. Hell yeah. Joe's, yeah, it's Joe's Pizza. It's like literally the quint. That's the quintessential. That's the one you see in like Spider Man when he's in New York City. Like any movie that like eats pizza, that's generally where they go. Joe's Pizza. Uh, when that people visit, I bring them there because it's like here's your, your actual New York City slice. Um, but if you want like something like heavy, there's artichoke pizza, which is like they're known yeah. for like their artichoke pizza. I've seen. But they also have a like, crab sense. meat. I've You've seen, seen Instagrams yeah. of you. You're friends that. with me. You've seen me eat a ton of pizza. <sighs> I've eaten like eight slices in a sitting i've eaten costco supreme pies like i now yeah, what's the what's the etiquette in new york i forget are you do you fold or so do you yeah, not we, fold? we do the fold i mean if you watch you the, the fold uh, Dave portnoy you know the flop you know, I get the 12 little flop little oil drip little volcano action yeah One bite everyone knows the rules how do you feel about <laughs> dave portnoy's decisions about some of his by the way i'm wearing a barstool hat I'm yeah wearing, I saw i'm wearing the hooligans hat. man Go so Let me join your fucking team already. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about Dave Portnoy and his decisions on pizzas? It's actually funny. Like ever since I started watching him, I've been kind of rating at least the places that I've gone to the same. Just because, like, I think we, I think it'd be cool if I can guest star with him. Just you know, just because I eat pizza so much and I, dude, you should have eaten a lot. Yeah, you just great. be like, just like average New York guy. But today yeah. we have not just a celebrity. We have the quintessential New York guy. Pops is a cop. <laughs> he has an accent. Yeah. Do the whole thing. Now ask him, what, what, guy, what do you like? Do you like this pizza? What do you grade it on? That's what he should, but, you know. Where is Dave Portnoy from? Isn't he from? He's from, uh, uh, oh, my God. Isn't he from New England? By Cape Cod. Yeah, New England. Is he a New England yeah. boy? Yeah. Makes sense. Fucking Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> That's something we can both agree on. We oh, both yeah, Raiders sure. hate the Patriots and the Giants yeah. hate the Patriots. I don't know, I don't know all of America hates the Patriots. Yeah, it's true. So uh, besides besides pizza, what's your favorite thing to eat in New York City? Like if, if 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 Chase and I were to go to New York City which and we you were will. to take us somewhere, right? Yes, we which we will. Where is the place that you would take us that you're like, you have to come here because this is the shit that I fucking love? Damn, I was gonna say like don't say some burger. of the Asian. 
No. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. The, we're gonna go stop at Burger King and then McDonald's, some White Castle. No, Wendy's. Oh, White Castle. I want White Castle. I've never had it from the source. You never had White Castle? I've only had well, it White frozen. White Castle's fire. Oh, man. I I'll love White crazy. Castle from Frozen, which is crazy, but... They're pretty it's, good. It's it's, it's 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 almost the same. Is <laughs> it's it actually, really? It's fresh, so it's a little it better, is. obviously. I was going to say, it's fresh, so it's a little um, better, right? Yeah. I mean, if, I, if you guys were to come here, I'd probably bring you to, to like, the legit pizza places. We'll do a pizza tour, for sure. Done. Tight. Just because, like, that has to be done. Like, Italian foods, um, probably a nice steakhouse. Yeah. You know, some trying to think of steak like steak houses it's really sad I like took, i used to be like so into food and like i was like oh so everyone asked me oh, where are we going where should i go for this i'm oh, like we're gonna go here this. i got it and now i'm just like yeah. now i'm just like what is this name of this pizzeria like what is this, <laughs> what is what is starbucks like, yeah is that coffee yeah the star the old oh i want that good new york coffee i want a starbucks <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go to starbucks coffee um, i keep doing this is everyone in new york a fucking i've italian? never seen them yeah I've, I mean, I think, italian I, I, I don't quote me if i'm wrong or someone fact check me but i think Staten island has the highest i think it has more italians like per capita than it did italy or something I like it was something surprised. ridiculous it was like something ridiculous maybe it was brooklyn or maybe new york city in general i think new york, probably more new york city in general but it's like I mean, most of my friends growing up were Italian or Irish. There's 175,000 Italian Mar- Americans in Staten Island alone. They make over one third, 35.7 percent of the population in Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's insane. Okay, so one I'm third not, of my I'm friends. Not, <laughs> not that wrong then. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, no, it's... when you were here, John, we took you to uh, our yeah. Me and uh, me and Max, Max. took you to. Uh, jimmy carter's i was like if he's gonna yeah. come to san diego mm-hmm. i have to take him to a like a mexican joint that is just like oh yeah that was so fire. fucking good like that was even fire. down to just the taste of the tortilla like oh mm, i mean I, till this day i'm just like G- is that jimmy carter's like in your picture like, is that is that jimmy dude i miss jimmy what are you doing Carter's? this weekend i'm every, coming every time I <laughs> going to jimmy, jimmy carter's i'm always like Ah, I miss Jimmy Carter's, like sort of like as nostalgia, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck, I really actually want Jimmy Carter's. Hey, Sharif, can we go to Jimmy Carter's this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> it's our Meet anniversary weekend. It's our anniversary uh, weekend. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Celebrate Jimmy Carter's. I know, dude. We'll just go there, and that's it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Put a tortilla on it. <laughs> <laughs> a little sombrero. <laughs> Like, then you should just put some beans on it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to sing that later to her. And she's going to be like, you're so fucking embarrassing. You should clip that. You should clip that audio clip that. and make it her like text ringtone for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the opening theme for that play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, if you like it, you should put some beans on it. Oh, yeah. Dude, Perfect. oh, fuck. I because do miss that place. Black. That's life. That is life. Well, John, it's about 5 p.m. where we are, and we've been doing this for this is a longer episode. And I'm sure you want to. I'm sure you want to get off and order some Domino's. I know exactly, John. Thanks for (laughs) for joining us, man. Thanks for giving us all the New York info. Greg, thanks for putting together the uh, the quiz, the New York quiz, and I fucking failed. Hey, you know, I mean, I thought you were gonna hold it down for for the That's Life Squad, but I don't. You know. I should have to do something. You got out. You got outdone by a New Yorker, so it makes sense. I, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't feel That's as fine. bad. Yeah, we That's do fun. do it better. Yeah, John <laughs> was about to be really pissed if I had beat him. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't want to do this ever again. Yeah, exactly. You know, what? I don't really want to play Call of Duty with you guys anymore. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, crew, thanks for watching. Guys, thanks for coming on. We're going to do another episode next week. We're bringing on our friend Max. Uh, he's going to talk about what he does, and we're going to do something similar. It's just going to be fucking a good time. I'm just imagining me back on and everything on Max and no one <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're on. It's just always yeah. you. Yeah, next week we got Sheree coming back on to talk about relationships, and it's just okay, John. Guys. <laughs> yeah. <Hi guys>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and that's it. Do you guys have any uh, final words? Uh, anything to say? This guy's that's definitely life, a cop. <laughs> this <guy's> a, <laughs> is this guy a cop? Sounds like a cop. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks uh, for watching stream. Greg, uh, John, thank you guys for joining again. And uh, we'll see you guys on uh, the next episode. And we'll be, we'll be putting this on 
on Spotify, putting it on YouTube. Go like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Oh, by the way, John, I love your background. If you're watching, if you're if you're listening to this, not watching it, we're on a Zoom call, and I can see John's background, and it is Minecraft, which is really the game that like really brought Greg, John, and I together. We play. It is John and I have never actually met in person. Yeah, we've literally no. never met in person. We've that's literally really only weird, played actually. video games yeah. together and like I mean, talk to each I, other over the phone. Or that's literally what I was gonna. I, I was gonna say in the beginning how we all met. Like I literally met all of you because of video games. It's true. Yeah. And I think Alex. it was Destiny. And Alex. Because yeah, I worked but with yes. Alex, and then I played Destiny with Max and Destiny with Greg. I think. Right. Yeah. Uh, and that we was all when played, I got rid of Destiny. Played, I think yeah. so. And then yeah. we all played Nazi zombies together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and then that we, was yeah. like, that was when it was like legit because we would like just go in about it and like strategy. Like, I know, like, it's heard. so true. We, we need to stream that again, dude. We might need oh, to stream another. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. I would totally stream that. Oh, it's such a good. Well, hey, one day me and Chase will come and visit you out in New York and we'll vlog it and we'll throw it up on the That's Life social oh, media. I love that idea, dude. I love let's, when we can let's actually fucking, fucking do it. Do it. Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. Flights are hella cheap. Let's go. They are. Let's do it. We're sa- we're safer than you guys, though. So. Yeah, but yeah, wait, that yeah. is true. <laughs> All right, dudes. Thank you. Peace. I'll see you guys later on, probably. <laughs> yes, sir. Later. Peace.